Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 17th, 2020. Boy, yesterday we had quite a show of volatility with um, retail sales coming out way better than expected, showing those consumers once stores reopened, they went out and shopped till they dropped um, in an intense um, increase in uh, retail sales. Now, when I say that, we have to look at the context of this and just show that and let everyone know also that retail sales year over year are still sharply lower. But what an amazing monthly improvement that they saw yesterday. And that inspired the bulls to gap in a huge gap up yesterday, um, lifting up nearly a thousand points in, um, at the moment or in the morning on the Dow. And then later in the day, we got a report that China was going to go back into some restrictions because of a resurgence of COVID and we quickly sold off and nearly reversed that entire um, bullishness um, of the day. So we just had an amazing back and forth yesterday. The bulls decided to hold on here and rallied back up by the end of the day. But my goodness, um, we have had tremendous volatility in the market. As a matter of fact, if I go to a 15 minute chart, I just wanna show you um, in here where we, um, we're just leaving gaps behind all over the place and huge gaps, um, massive, unbelievable gaps in these this price action. And it's up and down, up and down, up and down. And it's kind of a, um, it's a coin toss as to which way it might gap the next day. Well, this morning, it looks like we're going to gap up again with the bulls continuing to push even though we saw record numbers of increases in coronaviruses um, across the country um, yesterday so let's take a look and see what this sets up like and um, let's settle in grab yourself something to drink and let's prepare for the wednesday edition of the morning market prep video so this morning, we have a situation where the futures, the bulls are once again pushing and we're trying to gap up. We aren't gapping up all the way to um, yesterday's open, but we are looking at a gap up open. And right now, the Dow futures are pointing to about a 175 point gap up open from yesterday's close. So they're trying to remain very, very bullish and put on a very brave face ahead of uh, more uh, Jerome Powell testimony in Congress and housing starts. Uh, the retail, I mean, the uh, numbers, um, economic numbers keep coming in showing pretty substantial bullishness overall. So they've got reason to try and be anticipating um, a good housing number. So what do we have here? Well, we still have this island reversal um, in the chart that is, well, typically a very bearish pattern and you don't see these very often where we have a gap up and a gap down um, around an island like that but we've pushed up back up here into this gap and we're trying to move higher here this morning trying to recover a little bit of yesterday's pullback in that market and we're pushing back up to challenge some resistance right here in the chart on the Dow. Now, short-term trend uh, clearly was broken uh, by that big sell-off on June 11th, but the longer-term trend continues to hold in there. So it's kind of a confusing mix of technicals here in the chart. Now, having said that, if we take a look at um, our moving averages, we still have a rising 50-day moving average. And yesterday, just by a breath, we hold held on to the 200-day moving average in the Dow. So as we continue to push back higher, trying to challenge these highs and trying to push back to all-time highs in the market, it's going to be an interesting situation. And the reason I say that is because we still have a, an amazing amount of fear in this market considering the the prices 
that we're looking at. We'll talk about that in just a second. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also holding on to that longer term trend, although we did break that short term trend. We are back up here challenging this island reversal this morning and you can see this morning we're looking at gapping just slightly higher trying to hold on to that bullishness of yesterday we had a good strong hold of the 200 day moving average and notice that that 50 average has now crossed over the 500 and is pushing up here for a cross of the 200 maybe next week sometime if we can hold this bullishness that 50 will cross back above the 200 day moving average if we take a look at the next NASDAQ. NASDAQ is just unbelievably strong. And as a matter of fact, if we get any faltering in the NASDAQ, that's where we're going to see some trouble because it is that NASDAQ leading the entire market. And the, the buying in here is just absolutely relentless. There is no backing up and they continue to push very hard on what they're calling the big four, the big five, depending on how you want to look at it. We've got Apple, Google, Microsoft. Um, um, Amazon and Facebook kind of being the big tech pushers in here that continue to lift indexes across the board. And as you can see, we're holding in this very, very strong uptrend. 50 obviously clearly crossed over its 200 day and continues to be, be very strong. One thing that I, I do see in here is that we are extremely stretched away from that 50 day moving average. And if it does happen to sell, if there is a selling wave that comes in, it could be very uncomfortable. So watch that carefully. However, on the bullish side, we have this move here where we broke down this breakout um, support level. We broke it down, but we have recovered that um, substantially. And now we're looking at more gap up. As a matter of fact, the NASDAQ may be gapping to a new high this morning, uh, pushing, pushing, pushing relentlessly in the NASDAQ. On IWM, IWM still struggling here. We gapped up yesterday in a big way, but let's keep in mind that IWM continues to suffer here a little bit, and we're still under our 200-day uh, moving average. And although we're pushing up this morning, in the stock, we're gonna open still below that 200 day moving average in IWM as it continues to struggle here um, more than the other indexes, just can't seem to get enough love. Let's take a look at uh, the VIX for today. If we take a look at this, this is where um, it, it just gets really interesting in this market. As you can see um, here in the VIX, we are still very elevated. Even with all of this bullishness, we closed up here above a 33 handle in the VIX, suggesting the volatility and the price volatility is extreme. And for option traders, that means your option prices are all very expensive. Bid ask spreads are probably wide, adding danger to those trades. But what's remarkable in here is that we're still holding above the downtrend and we're still holding some price support here in the chart. As of the close of yesterday, if we take a look at the moving averages, we held right on to the 50 day moving average here in the VIX. Now the VIX is kind of funny about moving averages. It can, it can slip those really, really easy, but it's really interesting how, even though the bulls are pushing so relentless in the market, how we are seeing the VIX remain extremely elevated, um, which brings, adds an element of danger um, in here. And as you can see, I marked out some levels across here in the chart. And you can see right in here, we're holding that support. Um, well, actually we did slip that support. Slip that support, um, but any, any fear could pop us right back up above there. So will that serve as resistance? I don't know. It's kind of an interesting situation in the VIX. Fear is very high, making it very, very challenging um, in the market. Let's take a look at T2122. Now, T2122 has been just interesting. As a matter of fact, in, in my whole career of trading, I don't think I've seen T2122 act so oddly. But 
in the same respect, we haven't had these kind of moves. As a matter of fact, we've had some of the biggest percentage moves in history in the last few days of trading. So um, it's not um, it, it's not out of the ordinary. I guess it's something that we should expect that we're seeing some different things and indicators that we've never seen before. So here's what we've got. We have T2122 at yesterday's open. It was literally pegged at 100. I don't believe I've ever seen T2122 pegged at 100. And it rested there and stayed there for a considerable period of time. During that selling um, after China released that they were adding restrictions back in some areas because of a resurgence of COVID, we had a big sell-off that nearly reversed the bullishness of the day, but bulls got a hold of it and pushed us back up by the close. So we're still up here in this bearish reversal zone, suggesting that we are in a overstretched condition, at least in the short term here in the charts. So something to be watching for if profit taking if selling does happen to come in um, watch that carefully it could um, escalate really fast in selling if that does occur with the gap up open i suspect we're going to be close to being pegged again up here at the top of this range an interesting situation and um, one that just suggests we should be very watchful we don't want to be bearish right now we don't want to be particularly bullish right now what we want to do is we want to be very watchful of price action and be prepared for about anything to occur because it could shift on a dime you'll want to watch that very carefully and have a plan for both ways in case we get that shift let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar has a couple things that might be kind of interesting today and that is we have housing starts numbers that are expected to be out before the market opens and we have Jerome Powell in Congress uh, continuing his testimony in Congress today so whether we learn anything new there would be um, unlikely but um, certainly um, something we want to pay attention to and then we have a couple other Fed speakers here to be made aware of um, on the day. So watch that closely. On the earnings calendar, we don't have much going on today. We have about 12 companies reporting earnings. But in looking through that, those earnings reports, I really can't find anything that um, I would suggest to be particularly notable. Um, ABM was about as close as I could come to a very notable report but it's unlikely abm um, however it reports really has a major effect on the overall market so just keep that in mind kind of a light day earnings continue to wind down um, this season and so just kind of a light uh, light day on that calendar let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that if you guys could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos and um, please note that the channel is um, there for everyone to um, take advantage of the free training and things that I put out there. Um, I've got over 800 videos on the channel now. So um, if you find any of that useful, if you could please do me a favor and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. Helps us continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you to all of the great and kind comments you guys leave behind. Truly humbling. Thank you very much. Um, you, uh, honestly, um, it means the world to me. Thank you very much. The, the effort that I put forward to try and put out good quality content without prediction, without all the hype that you might see in other places, um, it, it's really nice to see that appreciation. So thank you so much for everyone who does that. Let's take a look at a few charts here. And I got to tell you, it's going to be challenging um, in this market because we've had so much whip. And that means support and resistance levels have been um, 
well, they've been all over the place in charts, but there are a few things, a few places that are really showing um, good signs and signs that we want to really pay attention to. Take a look at lows. Lows here i'm going to put my drawings on here lows uh, continued even though we did get a sell-off we broke some support we have rallied right back and we're testing these highs and this is all-time highs here in lows retail sales showing lots and lots of strength and we are seeing um, lows trying to gap through that um, into a new breakout today so keep an eye on that low showing lots and lots of strength here also home depot another retailer um, we lost that support that breakout support we lost it we've recovered it and now any hold up in here would show uh, bullishness or that potential resumption of the upside trend um, home depot one to pay attention to seeing signs in stocks like um, mdlz um, a defensive sector company but as you can see we failed support rallying right back above that so any rest or consolidation in here that holds us above this level of support that proves that we can hold it would be an opportunity then to maybe seek out again um, new highs and breaking through in that chart mdlz might be one to keep an eye on um, interestingly coke also um, is showing those kind of signs where we rallied up strongly broke support in this um, recent um, spin and volatility and now any kind of rest or hold above this level would give us an opportunity to maybe see coke push on higher and move back up so keep an eye on that take a look at the pay system stocks stocks like sq sq my goodness beautiful strength yesterday this had very little response to the sell-off in the market we had a great bullish engulfing candle um on um Monday and that follow through yesterday and it held up resiliently even though there was a lot of volatility in the market SQ very very strong um, I would suspect SQ is on its way up here to test all-time highs um, in the chart so keep an eye on that also take a look at PayPal PayPal has been very strong doing the same thing and paypal is at blue sky high so we've never been this high in paypal and we are continuing to push on higher so blue sky above here on paypal as we continue to push up how about taking a look at nvidia now nvidia has been struggling in a consolidation area here but all we've really done and to tell you the truth all we've really done is consolidate ourselves over here to this uptrend so let's keep an eye on nvidia there is a chance that we could pop through um, this resistance of this consolidation pop on through and extend this leg on higher keep an eye on nvidia looking pretty good overall um, take a look at stocks like mcdonald's mcdonald's um, even after breaking this downtrend found the strength here to hold at price support so any kind of bullishness that shows in here we could resume that trend to the upside four days of hold proving that we want to hold that support we could have more upside in that chart so keep an eye on it so quite a few stocks out there to be taking a look at one of the places that i've been kind of watching pretty closely is the energy sector with um OPEC continuing is its historic production cuts. Um, we're seeing fuel prices rise. We're seeing stabilization in energy prices. And if the economy is going to recover, we need to get um, we're going to start burning more of those fossil fuels again and really cranking that up. So I've been watching here in energy. And although we rallied up strongly, I closed this trade um, in XLE. I'd been buying up XLE all through this rally and closed it on this day. Now this pullback um, and rally right back above that support level. If I can get any kind of hold in here, I'll be watching for another entry 
into XLE, so keep an eye on that. And hey guys, I wanna remind you, every time I show a, um, a chart in this video, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Everyone has to do their own due diligence and take a look at those charts and see if they make sense to you. What I'm suggesting is these charts might be good watch list start charts, something that you may want to evaluate it evaluate it as a potential, but it is not a recommendation for you to buy or sell. I don't know your account. I don't know your tolerance for risk. So please make sure you are doing your due diligence on these charts. And last but not least, I'm going to mention XLF. We're going to really need these financials to start kicking in if we're going to sustain much of a rally and we had a moving up nicely i ended up selling my position in xle actually on this day closed my entire position i'd been buying this up kind of like xlf um, but i closed that position and then we really tanked here um, hard in xlf but we're starting that rally back. So if I can get any kind of proof after popping back through here that we can hold, then I'll be looking at an opportunity to maybe pick up some financials again in here. So watch that close. So everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you the very, very best. And we'll see you right back here bright and early bright and early Thursday morning. Be safe, everyone. We're seeing that coronavirus uh, spike back up in places around the, around the world here and around the country. So please be safe. Take care of yourself and your family. We'll see you back here first thing tomorrow morning. Take care.